Hey guys, so today we're doing a door lock actuator on a 2012 Tucson. So right now I'm I'm checking right now. So I know already the problem is a door lock actuator problem. So right now we're checking with a voltage on this orange wire on the driver's side door and I hook up an amp clamp too so I already put it here so on my on my green trace that's my voltage and on my red trace or orange trace that's my current trace so I'll show you when the actuator stops working and at least we can monitor that our voltage is present there if um, if we're not cutting off the voltage available to the actuator so let's see and so right now I'm on unlock position so I'm gonna lock it so as you can see that there's that square wave it spikes up and if I'm gonna unlock it that's what you will see and lock it again but as the customer is using this it's gonna be like in the end it's gonna stop working so what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna play around with lock and unlock and let's see our waveform if um, it will tell us we have a problem with the actuator so I'm gonna lock it again unlock Unlock, lock, 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 lock. And you can see that it starts making an odd pattern. So, and this is the time when it starts to fail. So, I'm gonna do that. So you can see that starting look at our amperage draw it's like very little now and as you can see here it's not moving anymore so and uh, as you can see on our um, amperage pattern like if I'm gonna lock it like and then uh, our voltage pattern it's present still there so that's around 12 volts which is good we're not losing voltage but on our um, on our motor side that's the, our problem you can see that we can definitely diagnose if we have a problem with our actuator or or our voltage supply because our voltage is there, no problem, but... So now, let's change it and let's compare with a good, no, good new um, actuator. So now let's remove the actuator and replace it with new one.
Mecánica. Drop the board. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now let's put it back since it's done. Make sure to hand type first. <laughs> so you're the you're the the top one of this. Can use a gun here. It depends on the condition. But the question now is how come this one is not going in? What's my position there? Right. What? 
Oh, he's got a big problem. Now this guy figured it out. What was the customer complaint? Um, first, the, it cannot, the customer said that he cannot open the door mm. when he's using the fob, mm. the remote. Mm. So, most likely, it's a door, door lock issue, right? Mm. And right now, I guess, one, two, yeah. double check everything and diagnose it properly mm -hmm. before we put parts in. Double check first our window. Yeah, it's working fine. Mm -hmm. 